Let's graph the linear equation for y equals one third x plus four. And we're gonna do it two ways. First, we're gonna put values in for x and find y. Then we'll have these points here and we can just put those on a graph for our linear equation. Next, we'll use the slope intercept formula just to check our work. So let's start out with this x here. Let's put three in for x because if I put three in for x, one third times three, that'll give me one. One plus four is five. How about zero is always a good number. So we'll put zero in one third times zero. That's zero. Zero plus four gives us four. And let's put negative three in. One third times negative three, that's negative one. Negative one plus four is three. You can choose any points. I chose these points because they're giving me whole numbers and I can see that all of these, they're gonna fit on my graph paper. But any point will work. So now we have these points to graph for our linear equation. So we'll start out with x is three, y is five. So one, two, three, and then we go up five. That's our first point. X is zero, y is four. Here's our next point. And our third point, we have negative three for x and then three for y right there. And you can see they're in a line. We could have just graphed two points, but when you have three, if you make a mistake here, you'll usually catch it. Let's put a line through here and then arrows to show that it goes to infinity. So that's the graph for the linear equation y equals one third x plus four. Let's check our work with slope intercept formula. So b is the y intercept, that's four. So we can plot a point on the y axis at four, that's where the line should cross, and it does, so that's good. Then we have this one third x, that's the slope. The one third is the slope. We can put rise over run, that's what we're talking about. So we go to our y-intercept, we rise one, and we run over to the right, three, one, two, three. And from there, we could rise one and go over one, two, three. Again, that's on the line, we could keep going. Likewise, we could come down one and over one, two, three. And again, from there, down one over one, two, three. And that gives us our graph for y equals one third x plus four. This is Dr. B with the graph for the linear equation y equals one third x plus four. Thanks for watching.